Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to the garden today. I'm taking y'all inside the low tunnel and uh, we're just going to take a quick look around the low tunnel and the winter sowing a low tunnel, I should elaborate, and see how our seedlings are doing. So kind of like a mini winter sowing reveal. Taking a look in here, opening this up, I am so pleased with what's going on in here. First of all, I have already removed several trays from this tunnel. The spinach has been removed. The bachelor's buttons have been removed from the tunnel. Um, the kale, the cauliflower, the broccoli, the cabbage, and the Brussels sprouts, those trays have all been removed from the low tunnel. Uh, I just have those sitting out in my yard, and uh, when it's going to be really cold at night, I cover them with a row cover uh, frost blanket, and they're just hanging out in my yard. Uh, those trays can be moved from the low tunnel because, like I said, those things are frost tolerant, and as long as it doesn't get, you know, ridiculously cold here, uh, then those those little seedlings, those will be fine out in the yard with the cold, and they'll probably like it a lot better than the humidity in the little low tunnel. So I have officially have trays moved out of the low tunnel now. The auroch have also been moved out of the low tunnel. Taking a look at things that are still in the process of germinating and being protected by the low tunnel, we have our artichokes, uh, which they started out looking pretty good. They're looking a little bit rough now. We've had some cold temperatures, and I know uh, artichokes do have some cold tolerance, but they aren't the most cold tolerant, and they don't like uh, they don't like the humidity. So I actually might take these out of the hoop house or the low tunnel as well. Uh, looking around at other things that have started to germinate are um, Artemisia has really taken off. The seedlings are super tiny, but they've really taken off over the last week. Uh, looking around some of the other things, we also have a lot of sage and some of our rosemary that has really taken off, which I'm really pleased just to see. Um, you know, growing herbs is always such a uh, just easy and great way to just get the most for your money, more importantly, and be able to preserve those uh, after the season has ended. Looking around, also we have great germination with the Echinacea seeds. I am so insanely excited about this, guys. I love Echinacea. I think it's such a beautiful perennial flower. Here where I live in my zone 6B7 garden, Echinacea comes back every year just stronger and fuller and full of flowers. It really just gives you that visual just punch that you need. Like, wow, look at this. This is great. And the germination through winter sowing with Echinacea was just so awesome. I'm so happy about it. Uh, other things like Miletuses and Swiss chards, they've also been moved. Overall, I think the progress of things is just looking really really good I'm really pleased with it um, are you winter sowing this year I'd love to hear all about it I'm gonna leave you guys with some uh, additional images of the low tunnel and everything here if you like this update if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe we're making winter sowing videos all the time all that good stuff hit the little bell icon it'll tell you whenever I make a new video put new stuff out really really frequently I hope you guys are having such an amazing day I'll talk to y'all later bye guys mm -hmm.